I spent the last 1,000 hours of my life doing absolutely nothing other than chugging liters of coffee and studying every single AI tool that has touched the market up to date. I'm gonna break down my favorite AI tools that you can use in your day-to-day -day life, as well as the tools that are in the cutting edge of the technology and ones that might freak you out. So without further ado, hey, hit this video with a like and subscribe and let's dive right in. Starting off, we're going to be looking at the most cutting edge tools that may not be perfect right now, but I guarantee in the next couple of months, they will disrupt entire industries. The first one we're going to be looking at is text to video. Now, Google's AI that is working on it called Imagine has not released to the public yet, but it is truly game changing for all video editors and even creators. Now, there are simpler video AI creation tools that are free to the public for you to start trying, and one of them is called Kyber. Now, what's cool is that you can also add an image of yourself and turn turn it into a video or animation. And so you can play with a lot of already pre-existing content that you have to then remodel and restructure your own footage to make it even better. A crazy example is the band called Linkin Park who actually used this tool to make an entire music video. And it actually came out really, really cool. 20 million views was a result on YouTube. Recently, Ubisoft announced in one of their keynote presentations, their Unreal Engine Meta Human Display. Now this one is freaking mind blowing. You could see this actor make making a wide variety of facial expressions. And in real time, you can see how they take that data and transfer it into a cartoon animated 3D character. You can record yourself saying stuff with emotions and then turn it into an avatar that looks nothing like you. And they did this all using just a simple iPhone 9. Furthermore, they went on to explain that this new AI vision tool will be able to really help the visually impaired by identifying what objects are in real life. So definitely groundbreaking stuff in the medical industry as well. Number three, we got Versi, and this is huge for people that are looking to get into the metaverse exploration of AI. You can now input text and it will turn it into a 3D world. And so you can really start to imagine how the metaverse is going to start picking up at a rapidly increasing pace. And honestly, I'm a little scared about this. I didn't do that much diving into Versi, but it is pretty insane. Now, number four, similar to Versi, we have Luma Labs, but where this one's different is that you can take a video of real life and then turn it into a 3D metaverse. And so you can imagine how fast games are going to evolve with this new technology. But as of right now, it's really important for people that are in construction, architecture, or just overall design, because you can literally turn anything now into a 3D space Number five, we got NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA as a whole is doing a lot of cool stuff in AI, but what really stood out to me was their NVIDIA broadcast tool. Now, in this NVIDIA broadcast tool, there are simpler things that you can do, like remove a background, get rid of the static noise in the background, even change the video background, but none of those are groundbreaking tech. The one that really stood out to me was the eye contact tool. Now, I'm looking straight at the camera right now. I'm not reading a script, but with this new AI tool, you can literally make it look like I'm looking at the camera while reading off a script. Lastly, for the groundbreaking tech right now, we're gonna talk about the GPT-4 plus the plugin tools. And so what this is, is basically the ability for ChatGPT to use the internet and use other tools that it now has access to. And so, for example, I'm not gonna go too far in depth with this, but one of the companies that they're working with is Instacart. And Instacart is a food ordering platform. And so in this example, you guys can see that we prompted the AI to actually create an entire vegan recipe but not only that, it then went ahead and ordered the recipe on Instacart because it had that plugin. This is going to change fitness, this is gonna change health, this is gonna change a lot of different industries. So we're just scratching the surface in this new cutting edge type of tech. But now let's get into the tools that kind of freak me out. Well, the first one I'm gonna be making a video on this later is a dream interpreter AI. Now, I don't know about you, but I have the craziest freaking dreams, most vivid, most lucid dreams imaginable. And now I'm actually going to be able to write it down in a journal, take it to an AI and see what it, <laughs> see what my dreams are all about. Now, this is kind of scary, but I'm excited to try it out myself. And so definitely subscribe if that's something that you're looking forward to watching as well. Next up, this is by far the freakiest one. It's Rewind AI. Our vision is to give humans perfect memory. This is just the first step. Thanks for trying Rewind. Now their goal is to make sure that you never forget anything or any information that you stumble across. Like, you know when you're looking for that one meme and you can't find it anymore? Well, this AI tool will keep track of every single tab you have ever opened in your entire life on the internet. It is cool that it can, you know, find the stuff that you're looking for, but in terms of safety and in terms of regulation, it's not a, it's not a tool I'll be using. Lastly, in the weird AI tools, we got Deep Nostalgia. This tool can animate any 
photo from any period in time. You can grab a black and white photo of your grandfather and turn it into an animated person. It's freaky, but I mean, maybe if you want to reconnect with someone that may have passed away, this could be somewhat cool. All right, guys, before we get into the everyday tools that I'm going to be shooting at you at rapid fire, I want you guys to please hit this video with a like and subscribe because it definitely helps me reach my goals in this AI world. We are developing our own tools, um, so it would mean the world, but let's dive right into this last chapter. So the first one that is definitely going to change video editing as a whole is called the Runway ML. New updates enter this video editor. It's slowly going to become the new video editor, replacing Premiere Pro, replacing Final Cut, because you can already do some really cool stuff. But the beautiful advantage that this video editor has on top of its AI abilities is just speed, right? You're able to, for example, change the color grade of a video just off of a text prompt. You're also able, for example, to make any type of footage go into hyper slow motion. And so if you shot a video in 30 frames per second without this tool, your slow motion would be very choppy, but it actually replaces the missing frames with AI generated frames to make your slow motion look very, very seamless. Other features they have is like text to 3D, remove background, replace video background. But I will say guys that we are a couple of months away from Runway literally taking over the entire video editing platform because they also have a text to video tool in the works. And so once you can put text to video into a video editing platform, oh my gosh, like I will be able to create a YouTube video like this in like five minutes, which would have taken me multiple hours. Next up, we have Mixo. Mixo is beautiful for testing any idea you have because you can input your idea into a prompt in one simple sentence. Like I'm thinking of building a clothing company. It'll make you a logo. It'll make you a whole website. It'll even make fake testimonials. And if you want to just test to see if the market is interested in your idea, it'll actually start to accumulate all the emails that people are signing up for. So if there is demand, you can then take your idea to real life. And that leads me to my next tool, which is Bubble IO. So if you introduced your idea on Mixo and it gained some traction, you can immediately then take it to Bubble IO, which is a no code software developing platform. And so similar to Shopify, but this time for developers. So not just computer scientists, but now anybody can create software as a service. And I guarantee it's going to be the next boom for the entrepreneurial world. I guarantee that a bunch of digital creators are going to be dropping e-com and going all in on SaaS because of this one tool. Next up, we got Tome, which is beautiful for students. If you have a presentation, you can literally just write the idea of the pre presentation down and the AI will do everything else for you. It'll create an introduction, it'll create a summary, it'll create you know, problems and solutions, it'll put in the images that are right for the actual presentation, and it'll get done in a minute. Midjourney V5 is the top of the cutting edge in text to image. Now, I will say I've been playing around with this a lot. It's first of all, very, very addicting because the quality of images that you can create are literally like cutting edge. Like you can make the best images no matter who you are. The only important thing is how in-depth your description of the prompt is. So the length of the camera, the type of photo, the aspect ratio, just hyper detailing the prompt will result in fire ass photos. An example which I use Midjourney V5 is actually my last video where I use the tool to actually generate me my thumbnail. Pretty cool. Next is a pretty funny one. It's called AutoDraw.io. And so for the not so talented artists like myself, if you wanna just bring an idea to life, you can start drawing out your idea and the AI will try to predict what it is. You can see that his drawing abilities aren't the greatest, but he's still able to get to his final product within seconds. Poly AI is your voice AI assistant. And I think this is gonna work wonders for e-com brand owners because for example, let's say you're getting a lot of traction on your website and you don't wanna pay a real life assistant to deal with all the BS. When the customers talk to the AI, the AI can then filter out who is actually likely to buy something and then send the people that are likely to buy to a real assistant to complete the purchase. All right, next up guys, we got Copy AI. Now, there are a bunch of different tools that are very similar to Copy AI like Jasper IO, but basically what it does is Imagine any type of written content that you need across social media, whether that's a LinkedIn profile description, whether that's a YouTube video description, a product description, uh, Instagram bio caption, 
uh, YouTube video title, uh, email, all of these different types of copy can now be created using Copy AI and it just speeds up the time while maintaining the professionalism of the written work. So you don't have to rush into filling out any more captions anymore because it is all done for you. And the best of the best AI tools in this AI niche are actually also gonna SEO optimize to make sure that you're getting as many views, as many impressions as possible. Next up guys, we have our own company over at Vault AI. So our first tool is actually going to combine what Copy AI is doing, but it's going to now add its own script writing abilities. So imagine you can now write an entire YouTube script in your own voice. And this is going to be done by it actually studying what you have written before and learning how your mannerisms are in text and then converting that into its own representation of how you write scripts. This is amazing because it leads us to our next tool, which is Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is a voice cloning tool that will be able to literally take your voice and copy it, and then you can adjust, depending on what type of video you're making, the tones, the expressions, the speed of which your AI clone actually reads out the script. So imagine this, you create your script on Vault AI, then you grab that script, you bring it over to Eleven Labs, where you have your cloned AI, and then you're gonna use that cloned AI to then read your script. You can then take that script to a video editor like Runway and produce your video in no time. So that's been my rundown of basically accumulating every single tool that I studied and putting it into this list for you guys today. Hopefully you guys are able to take away some valuable information. If you would like to do your own deep dive though into all of the AI tools, just head over to aitools.io where every single AI tool that's on the marketplace right now is on that platform. But anyways, it's been your boy KB. Please like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. We out.